to ventilate room. Push to open. Well, hello vlog people, how are you today? Uh, it is Wednesday afternoon and I got up this morning and the first thing we did was we went to Blue's Egg and uh, shot a video there and then I went to the bobblehead place checked out all the bobbleheads very very cool stuff and then I went to uh, I guess it's like a, a marina and I flew my drone around a bit got some good pictures of the downtown area uh, and then I kind of like milled about because I sent a message to the people at Lakefront Breweries uh, I ate lunch or dinner there the first night I was here but I didn't make a video I just wanted to relax and have dinner by myself and uh, I'm like yeah that'd make, that'd make a good video going there so uh, I kind of texted them or sent a message through Instagram and I said I'd like to come back I just want to make sure I can videotape in the brewery part of it when you guys are doing the tour and he's like yeah come on in I'm like great and then after I did all that uh, I came wanted to sit down relax have a coffee uh, so this place is a, called Alderon Coffee. Alderan. So Alderan is the Princess Leia's planet that got blown up in the first movie or or episode four. Uh, what I just noticed though is this building here actually kind of looks like a Jawa vehicle with that nose on it like that. And their Wi-Fi password was uh, Stormtrooper, so that was kind of cool. Uh, lady in there, very very nice lady. Uh, so I've had my second latte of the day, so I'm pretty freaking out. <laughs> anyway, so I booked another hotel. It's probably like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I, I'm going to go see if it's going to cost any money to uh, to park. So the, the place I stayed at last night, no, didn't charge you for parking, which was great. Because other places wanted to charge thirdly like, uh, 26 to 31 dollars American, and add 30 percent on that to park your car overnight, which sucks. Anyway, so let's go check this out. Hotel out. It's pretty cool. So this is the Astor Hotel. Look at it. It looks beautiful. It's probably one of the original hotels. They do weddings and stuff. The rooms look beautiful. Let's go check it out. We'll do a little room tour. Look at this place, man. It is gorgeous. It's only ninety-one dollars a night. Look at this hotel, man. It's a hundred years old this year. Oh my god! This is too cool. I don't know if that's in operation. Looks like it. Shoot comes down. Or you can pop your letter in there. Super awesome. Seven. Hope we got a good view, man. I really do. It'd be cool if they had that little dial thing, you know? Ooh, spooky. Where are the two girls? Come and play with us, Daddy. The twins. <laughs> And ever. Uh, 762. And ever. The very end. Hallways are kind of creepy looking. Nice view. Ten dollar parking people. That's awesome. Oh. Laundry hours. at the very end of this hallway. Very creepy looking hallway. Look at this door. It's all kind of bowed out. I'm not sure why it has a lock on there. But let's see, old fashioned key. So there's a fob on here that gets me in the parking lot and the building after a certain time. Oh, that took, that took a few turns. Very neat. It's funny they have a Beautiful old room with old furniture. And they have this fancy 
new age chair. So what do you guys think, eh? Isn't that neat? I want to put plastic on the windows to help keep the cold out. This is beautiful. Old lamp, chair. Look at this washroom. One that's the thing when I was looking at the washrooms on the internet. It looked like 70s. Look at that. It's like a 60s or 70s washroom. Pink tile. Hair dryer. Nicely folded. So we got the soap dispenser, very old faucets. This is so cool, man. A little alcove here. Put my luggage on there. Sweet. What do you think? Very neat. Took your key out. So it's like a door inside a door to ventilate room. Push to open. Ooh. What does that do? To ventilate room. I don't know what it's doing. There's the people. I guess there's, maybe it was a way to ventilate when they didn't have any air conditioning and stuff back in the day. I want to open it so bad, I guess they've screwed it in. I don't know, I don't know what it's for. To open, to close. Just laid out all my stuff, recharging chargers, recharging two of my cameras. Got my laptop ready, I'm gonna see if I can edit something today. I don't know, or tonight. So let's go check out some more in this hotel. I'm guessing as soon as I shut it, it will lock. Cell phone, wallet, keys. Yeah, so as soon as you shut the door, it locks. Here's a pretty big exit. Seven floors all the way down. That kind of just gave me the shivers. Let's go down a couple floors. Or maybe all the way down. Why not? And we made it. some more investigating before we go for a walk. We're back to the lobby. They've got this George Walker room. Beautiful other chairs. Lots of magazines to read. A mirror. Big TV. More leather chairs. Big fake fireplace. Looks like it was real at one time. It even has the flu contraption on there. This place is dynamite. Oh, the air conditioner. It smells old, but not in a bad way. Sitting areas, the Solomon Juno room. It's just the washrooms. They could have a little meeting in there. Grand piano. Entertain your guests. Side. The side door. Sitting area. 
Oh, I'd love to, thank you. This looks like a speakeasy thing from the Prohibition, or where they used to keep barrels of beer and stuff. This is phenomenal. I guess you get a lot of weddings and stuff for this, eh? Thank you very much for opening this. Oh, this is how you get in. I missed it when I walked in. This is great. Yeah, well, how many seats would you get for a wedding in here? Um, I'm not sure about this part, but in that part is 250 people max. Oh, it gets even bigger. Yeah. Jeez. Look at that. This bar. So here's the rotunda area. I think this is pretty cool and like. Oh, another, yeah, like, wow. That is gorgeous. And you got a nice little, and does that go anywhere special or just? It's a fire escape from the second floor. Oh, okay. Just for people to come. <laughs> yeah. Did they ever have a fire here or this, they've been there one of the lucky? There was a fire here in 1935. 1935? Yes. And, and how much damage did it do? Um, it was just smoke damage and two people died from smoke. Oh. Do you want me to have lights in here? That would be great. Bye. Thank you. Guys, this is an amazing find. I guess this is set up to show people what a wedding setup would look like. This is beautiful. And 250 people will fit in here. You guys must get booked all the time because this is amazing. I'd have my wedding here for sure. <laughs> and that was very nice of her. She saw that I was videotaping. She's on her way home. And she's like, do I want to show you this other room? I'm like, that would be awesome. And then uh, she's just, she just left. But she's like, on the ninth floor, they have a rooftop patio, but it's only open three seasons of the year. She's on the ninth floor. So it's just closed for this season. But she said you can still look out the, uh, the door. Let's go. So ninth floor, here's the door. So, pretty good view. That building's in the way, but you can totally see the downtown area in its fullest. You can only give you so much of the roof to walk on. All right, tour is over. Time to go for a walk. Art Museum right on the waterfront. They made it look like a big sail. Cables holding this bridge up. Very cool. Look at the architecture design in this building. futuristic looking. Beautiful panorama. Imagine this being your living room windows. <laughs> This is what it looks like. And it actually opens and closes at certain times of the day. I think she said 12, five, 10. And I'm missing it because one of the things is, one of the pistons or something is broken so they, they can't move them right now. Darn. 